joy, gratitude, and most importantly, pride. First, the joy of experiencing a very seldom growth ever since I walked through this path. Second, gratitude. I am living now in gratitude because I thank God and all of which amazing individuals who held my hands during my best and my worst times. And most importantly, Pride, the pleasure and the honor to be Janine Rose Carpia, and most importantly, pride, the pleasure and the honor to be called the Miss Baguio. But prior to all of this, together with an amazing team that I call now a family, there were sweats, tears, never ending pressure sacrifices and downfalls that were endured by us. Yet we stood strong and we kept our faith with each other. So now I would like to give my whole heart to thank the following people. First, you, the people of Baguio. For you have been given me an out of the roof support Ever since, I, ever since I screamed for Miss Baguio up until I conquered the universe stage. Mayor Benji Magalo and First Lady Arlene Magalo, the Tourism Office of Baguio City headed by Sir Alec Mapalo, Bueso Team, headed by Mami Ingay, Sir Chai Ramos, without him, we, have, we, don't, we will not have this very prestigious talent. And my mother hand, Tita Lea, thank you so much. <laughs> and also my home away from home, Baguio Country Club, and my HRAP family, had advised Sir Anthony De Leon. Lafayette Luxury Suites Baguio, which always welcomes me like a family. Also, Giraffe Boutique Hotel, and G1 Lodge, had advised Sir Russell Go. Of course, my ever-loving handlers, and the first people who've seen the potential in me. From La Reina family, my Kuya JV, and my Kuya Miko, my co-queens, who made sure they bring out the best in me. Ate Diane, Ate Francine, Ate Muwana, and Ate Riza, who always made sure my crown and glory always shines. Also, Nadarian Fernandez and Nali Enchong Tambay, 
the people behind the iconic gowns that I wore. My pro media family has been taking care of me in any way possible. From Joma Yarna is, thank you so much. Also, I love Yuri, who's been all supportive in all of my endeavors. My family, my papa, who's in the audience right now. My mama, my sister, my mama who served as my foundation. And my eight dogs that I consider my children. They may not understand this, but they helped me the most mysterious ways. Thank you. All of the designers, hair and makeup artists, and companies that I've worked with, thank you very much. I know that there's a lot of people still worthy of recognition, but how I wish I had the time to mention each one of you, but please know that I can thank you enough for being a part of my journey, not just in pageantry, but also in life in general. I know this journey would be hard, and I pushed myself to my limits, but I've always believed that we are there to dream because there are greater things destined for us, and there are huge plans God has aligned for us. And now I can say, that this journey has transformed me from a girl who had nothing to a woman, a charming woman instead, who has the universe at her doorstep. To the next bag, your queen, you fought so hard and the universe saw it. That's why you are awarded with such a prestigious title title that holds so much responsibility and will instill much knowledge worth keeping. But wherever you go, never ever forget to be humble and be grateful. And whatever path you may take on, we are all rooting for you. I am here for you and the whole Baguio City is here for you. And as your Miss Baguio, I would also like to leave a message for us to be kind, to be smart, and be giving. For this are the true meaning of life and the common mission bestowed upon us. <laughs>